Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 1 0 win over Tunbridge Angels, opening day of the National League South. Couldn't have started any better results wise. What do you make of it? No, yeah, I thought we was, we was excellent to be fair. Um, you know, we've worked on a shape all pre season and got to give credit to the players. Um, just had a, a feeling with the conditions that wanted to change it up a bit and you know come in and, and told the lads what we want before the game and I think they've implemented the game plan brilliantly. Um, I thought on another day if it was a bit more clinical in, in the final third and um, just a little bit more quality then you know it could have been a bit more emphatic than what it was and let's take nothing away from them. They're a really good established side at this level so um, and they defended really well. They put their bodies on the line, some, a few great blocks. Um, so yeah, um, all in all, to start of a win is uh, really pleasing. The proof of that is how long it took to get the goal. It was right at the end with Nicky Wheeler, an excellent strike from outside the box. How do you feel when that goal finally goes in? No, yeah, yeah I think, you know, been around football long enough to know that, you know, it might not quite go your way and you always fear that where the game's, um, you know, only nil-nil that they could go and nick one. So, yeah, when you get the winner, they get the, the lads sent off, you knew that we was really going to take it to them then and you're just hoping that someone comes up with a bit of quality or you get a little bit of luck uh, that falls to you and, you know, um, yeah, I think uh, Nick sucked him in with that first shot he had, um, went out for a throw and then obviously to get the one on target and score the winner would be great for his confidence. And overall actually, he's one of the new guys making a debut, a competitive debut for us today. What do you make of the new guys coming back into that? No, yeah, I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased with how they've done. I thought Nicky put some unbelievable balls into the box. Um, you know, every time he got it, I thought he was a real threat. Um, he either wins you a corner or puts the ball into an area and makes them defend. Um, you know, we've got to do better to get on the end of his crosses, I think, um, with our timing of our runs. Um, but yeah, he's, I thought he was um, really, really good uh, throughout the game. Joe Felix um, has been excellent for us. Um, you know, young player. Great attitude, um, and he he can play in a variety of positions like he's done for us already. Um, yeah, it's going through him. The two two lads in the middle of the park, um, Michael. I thought he was a bit more aggressive today, but you know I don't think it's a booking, and it kills his game a little bit. Um, the day when he come on was really assured. Obviously, we know what Ricky can do. He's got that bits of quality um, when you need it, and I thought I thought Greg was a handful up top as well. And these lads are only going to get better as well. And um, you know we've got got a few missing at the moment, um, but we're not going to hide behind that. It's time for players to step up to the plate and uh, grasp their opportunity. There's still great options there in the team as well. Even looking on the bench, Ollie Starkey coming off the off the bench, an academy player, Finn Chadwick as well being there. A lot of good options around the team. No, that's it, yeah, and um, they're going to get an opportunity in the next few weeks and it's down to them to, to be ready to take it and show that they're, they are good enough for this level. Um, it's something that you know I believe in and as a club we believe in giving uh, young players opportunity but you know ultimately they've got to be ready to, to take that opportunity when it comes and um, you know the few names that you mentioned there with Ruben as well, we've got um, some good young players coming through um, and they really add to the squad I think this year. Um, you see, um, Finley Chadwick, what he can do, he's got that little bit of magic in him, um, you know, Ollie's got some raw pace, so yeah, they're good options to have, um, but yeah, we'll, um, they will be ready to take that opportunity when it comes and we'll just keep on going and hopefully get one or two back in the, in the next few weeks, which will really add competition for places. What would you like to take from today into Saturday's trip to Torquay? Um, I think just the, you know, I thought we played some really good stuff, we worked the ball into the, the final third really well. Um, and I thought we showed a good amount of endeavour to our play. Um, you know, we didn't have too much to defend in. What we did, I think Aaron made some vital headers um, today. I thought I thought Joe was solid alongside him. Um, so, yeah, some really good performance. Um, you know, clean sheet, which is always pleasing. Didn't have too many of them last season. So, you know, we brought Gary in for that and. No, full for credit, he's uh, off to a good start. Um, obviously, Kilo with Rocco as well. Um, keep a clean sheet is pleasing. Hopefully, it gives them a bit of a boost. But yeah, if we can keep um, you know the ball out of our net, I always feel we're creating enough chances um, to do well. Thank you, Adam. Cheers. Thank you.